How's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be rating your starter squads and seeing what you guys want to build for FIFA 21. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. This is not an I rate your teams, I'm just checking out some starter squads because we will be doing a few of these over the next sort of week uh, as we wait for FIFA 21 to come out. Now we've got the top 1000 database. We have the top 1,000 players in FIFA 21. We can actually have a look at some proper starter squads and see what you guys are looking to build. So uh, I tweeted out asking for you guys to send in your footbin links or your photos of your squads. Let's check out some of these squads. So we're starting off with Josh's squad. He's looking to build a French Premier League uh, hybrid here. Um, he's That Kamara card at left back looks really good. And Mukiele looks like a really, really good player as well over at the right back spot. If we have a quick look at his card, um, I think Leipzig have some incredible links this year. And Mukiele looks like a really good right back here. 83 pace, uh, 80 defending uh, with 77 physicals. Uh, his stamina unfortunately lacks, but everything else looks decent. Um, and it seems like he could be a decent starter right back in the Bundesliga. Something we don't have... A huge amount over the start of the game. We have like Mbappé and stuff like that, but he just adds a new dynamic with him being French as well. I like the squad though. I like the uh, the setup. Taliso got a big downgrade. Is he still looking like a decent centre mid this year? What are we saying? I mean, still looks really, really good. Really, really good card. I like it. Decent setup. We've got um, Lucas team next. Uh, we're rocking a four-three-three-two variation with Willian Everton and Alex Teixeira. That Everton card is another one that looks really, really good. So I'm going to I'm gonna carry on looking at random cards in this video. Uh, but this card looks really, really good for an 81 rate. He's got 86 pace, uh, decent dribbling stats, uh, not terrible finishing stats, not amazing finishing stats, can be upped with a Hawk. Um, he looks all right. He looks decent. Apart from the stamina, he looks really, really good. And Fred looks like one of the best starting CDMs. For my starter squad, because what I'll usually do is I buy like one big player and build a starter squad as well. Um, for my main starter squad, Fred's definitely going in that CDM or centre mid spot. As a box to box, he looks absolutely incredible. So, really, really excited about him. Uh, we've got Joe's team next. Uh, he's rocking a 4 3 3 uh, fourth variation. I respect that people are not just going for the 4 2 3 1 straight away. I like that, unless these guys are planning on playing it in game. I don't know. But I would like a year where the 4 2 3 1 is not the first go to formation. That would be really cool. Uh, he's got the Kunate of Meccano perfect link with Mukiele at right back. Lema, who looks really good. Sabitza, who looks like a really good beast as well. Haaland up top with Hazard and Tyson. I think Haaland would be quite expensive. Uh, the rest of this team looks like it'd be relatively cheap. Um, I can see Haaland being expensive as he's obviously had a big upgrade. Um, he's got decent stats and he's quite hyped. I can see him having a big upgrade, but nothing that we'll see. I don't think we'll see him over 100k, but I think we'll see him in maybe uh, mid mid. Uh, mid-range like 50k maybe roughly something like that i think um we've got joe's team next he's rocking a 4-3-3-4 again uh we've got alessandrini up at the right wing spot 84 pace unfortunately on the lad not looking amazing we've got alwar at right center mid uh renato augusto at left center mid um Taliska at cam looks like a decent card uh kunde and hermoso is a two cbs with uh renan lodi and Saar as the uh, left back and right back looking interesting massive in goal as well looks like a decent team you've got a really good attack i would say um maybe you lack a bit of pace in the midfield but nothing that you can't sell out in my opinion uh we're gonna go with mike wazowski's team next um Let's have a quick look at his team. He's rocking a 4-2-3-1 that he's obviously going to change in game. I think Lorente goes down to CDM. Williams is most likely a striker. Um, maybe you're not rocking a 4-2-3-1. Maybe you're going to rock a two-striker formation because I can't see Mbabu, sorry, not Mbabu, Bakambu or Williams, either of them being a cam. I can see them both being strikers. Um, then again, you've, got, you've pretty much got three strikers here. That's really interesting. I probably wouldn't rock three strikers at the start of the game. I think passing would be quite important. Um, Jonathan Vieira looks really good, though. Ed Emelita looks like a beast, as always. DeMarcos lost a lot of pace, though, this year, I feel like. Well, didn't he have, like, 85 pace or 86 pace at the start of the year? That's interesting. Um, fullbacks look a little bit slower this year. Uh, nothing that a uh, chem style can't fix, though. Wow, Coquelin looks really good this year. As a CDM, he's actually got a really good starter stats. I like that a lot. Uh, you got Promas up top with Anthony and Neres. I like those links. That's really good. Uh, obviously, Neres having five-star skills as well as Promes. That's, that's decent. Um, you've got Alwa, Lorente, and Coquelin's in midfield. And then you've got Kamara, Kempembe, Kunde, and Kappa as your uh, defense with the Compton goal. That's a really good starter squad. That's actually really strong. I might look into some of these players. That's actually a really strong starter squad. 
Um, we've got Billy the Kid starter squad. He's got uh, Suarez up top with Delefeu and Saar. He's got that cheeky um, championship trio there. If Delefeu and Saar don't leave Watford, that would be really, really cool. He's got Leymar, Sabitza and Guy uh, in the midfield. And then he's got uh, Roussillon, Upmakano, Kimpembe, Atal and Mandanda. What is Atal looking like in FIFA 21? I actually haven't seen his card yet. Uh, 79 rated right back. Wow. 91 pace, 81 dribbling. This is a phenomenal right back in the league. If you guys are rocking league and starter squads, you've got to try and get him in. Unfortunately, that squad's a little bit too small, Phil. Uh, but I see you got Rodrigo up top with Jota and Traore. I respect it. Um, let's have a look at this one. We've got Joe's team next. Uh, he's rocking Everton over at the left wing with Mbolo and Salvio as the uh, the other attackers. He's also got Gabriel, Zakaria, and Fernandes. Um, again, maybe lacking a bit of pace with Gabriel. Um, and you've got three, I would say, more box-to-box -box slash defensive midfielders. I'd say maybe try and get a cam in there if you can. Posterman looks OP with Boateng, Montiel, and Grimaldo. And then you've got Trap in goal. Really, really nice looking squad. The Argentinians have got some really good start plays, to be fair, this year. Like, they look really, really good. Uh, really, really strong indeed. Uh, we've got Presmex team now. Uh, he is rocking a uh, Brazilian hybrid here. Got Dest over at right back. It'd be a shame if he moves to Barca because he will no longer get that link. Um, you got Anthony over at right mid. You got Renato Augusto, Teixeira, Tilisca, and Tyson. Uh, Sydney, Hermoso, Neto, Lorente, and Is Mali. What is Lorente's in game stats looking like? So, yeah, 79 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. Really good physical stats. I like that a lot. Uh, defending stats look decent. He's got standing tackle and interceptions in the greens. Um, agility and balance aren't amazing, but an engine card will fix that. Uh, he actually looks like a, a, a nice, well rounded card. Four star skills, three star weak foot as well. That's actually really decent. And then who is this Anthony looking card? Three star skills is a bit of a letdown, but good agility and balance. Uh, will be really good as like a um, just a winger, basically, like a, like a proper winger. He's just going to run up and down the wing, uh, crossing the ball in and whatnot. Uh, we've got Lucas's team now. I'm prioritizing links because they they obviously are easier to look at and easier to click on players and stuff like that. Um, this team, I think, will be fairly expensive. I think Diego Carlos will be expensive at the start of the game. I think that uh, Jesus will be expensive at the start of the game. I think that um, Zakaria might have a decent value, like 25, 30k maybe. Um, I like, obviously, the front three looks decent though. Uh, this Gabriel Jesus card looks really, really good, but he's three star, three star, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, lets him down a little bit, but apart from that, he looks like a really, really good start striker. I like that a lot. Um, and Diego Carlos looks like a really, really good uh, right centre back as well. I'm surprised he got an upgrade. I didn't think he was that good last year, but I mean, what do I know? I mean, he got a team in the season, but like from what I watched of him, say in Europa League, I mean, he gave away an easy penalty against United. Could he give away another one? Didn't look amazing in the final. Didn't look amazing in the quarter final. But again, he got a team of the season card. Obviously, Sevilla won the Europa League. I can see why he got an upgrade, to be fair. Um, it's not really my place to say that someone was bad. Um, all right, so we've just got uh, this one next. Uh, who's Whose was this? I, I want to make sure that I know. Uh, okay, this was Voids. He said, uh, aim for something nice and cheap that I can afford within a few hours. I respect it. I like the uh, the the City A this year. Looks really, really nice. You've got, obviously, Tonali with a really, really nice non-rare card. Bonaventura looks like a really good, well-rounded midfielder. Paqueta looks like an all right cam for a cheap price. You've got Baldock, Smalling, Salisu, and Bertrand with Henderson. This is definitely going to be affordable. Let's check this guy out. Four-star, four-star, left-footed. Looks like a decent little left wing, apart from 41 balance. Yikes. That is um, unfortunate. But apart from that, no, the rest of the team looks really, really good. It's definitely affordable, cheap, and uh, a nice team for sure. Um, if you guys see your teams, by the way, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I'll do another one of these. Um, so make sure you guys follow me on Twitter where you guys can send in links to your squads. And I'll be doing another one of these uh, probably next week, I would say. Um, or probably in the next week. Probably won't be next week, but it'll be in the next week. All right, we've got Foot Perlos here now. Uh, this is going to be his uh, starter team over here. Um, so he's got Goosens with Gomez and Salvio. Interesting. He's got Marlon, Promes, and Martinez. Ah, you're playing Goosens as a CDM. I respect that. It's a decent choice, actually. Um, Haps over there at left, uh, left back with uh, left CB being Nacho Fernandez. Uh, Mario Hermoso, right CB, Dest at the right back, and Jordi Massip uh, as your goalkeeper. Decent uh, starter team. And then uh, he wants this for the first weekend league, hopefully. Um, again, another really nice team. It's going to be quite expensive. I think that Odegaard's going to be really good this year. Uh, I think that Mendy will be phenomenal. Alaba will be pheno uh, phenomenal. And Babi will be really good. Haaland will be really good, I think. Um, he might be a bit clunky, but I think that he's still going to be really good, especially at the start of the game, where agility and balance isn't always the main thing. Uh, if you remember at the start of last year, you could actually use players like Suarez and Kane and stuff at the start of the year and actually have a lot of success with them, which is really interesting. Um, 
we're going down now. I'm trying. I'm just trying to look for links, really. Um, okay, so we've got uh, Wills first. This is what he wants to build. Um, Griezmann will be my attacking midfielder for first or second week of uh, week of champs. 200k. I think this is going to cost a bit more than 200k. I'd say probably. I'd say this this team. You're probably looking more towards half a million coin mark, maybe. Um, I think Griezmann alone will be around 200k. Then Bale will be around 100k. Alfonso will be around 50 to 60k. Hernandez will be about 20k. Costa will probably be 15, 20k as well. Uh, Zakaria will be 20k. Now Brixie being 20 to 50k, even with a pace downgrade. Same with Haaland being around 50 plus. Yeah, I think you're looking at a little bit more than 200k uh, for this team. But it's a nice team regardless. Um, and then we've got the next one um, from King Hakimi, uh, who just sent me in his starter squad. Looking good. Uh, again, you got the nice, you got the uh, the Fred links in there. Um, of course, he only gets eight chemistry, but still decent. Um, I like the uh, the Hinteregger link there. But what I would say is, honestly, get Mukiele right back, uh, Meccano right CB, and then you get the three Leipzig link here. I would say that's probably better off than what you've gone with already. Uh, Paulista Gaia Silison, not bad. Uh, you got uh, Gonzalo Guides as well, obviously to get the link over to Felix, but he looks like a really good card anyway. And Willian, so it's a, it's a decent looking team for sure. Um, and then we're gonna check out a couple more. We've got Ronin's team here. Uh, he's sending, he's spending twelve thousand thief points. I think it'll be quite tight. I think you might be able to afford this team after twelve k. I think Ben is gonna be ridiculously, ridiculously expensive. I can see Sir Maximin being quite expensive as well, but apparently he's got a three-star weak, uh, three-star skill move downgrade. Don't know how true that's going to be, but we'll see. I like that Ikone is a right wing now. Looks like a really good starter player. Zoko be quite expensive. Lorente might be quite expensive depending on the market. Um, I think you might just be able to afford this after 12k FIFA points, and I think it'll be a really, really good starter team for you. Um, what are we going on with next? We are scrolling down for the last link is going to be from Alex. 43 running game with Mahrez at Cam. Hopefully a Man United Tellers. Yeah, I'm hoping for that as well. That'd be really cool. I really hope United do sign Tellers because he will be a great signing for us. Um, looks like a nice team, to be fair. You've got some really good links in there. I like that a lot. Um, Teixeira looks decent. Paulino looks like a really good CDM. Um, your defense looks all right as well. Not sure about Lindelof. Bai might be a better option there, to be honest. But apart from that, everything else looks decent. But that is it for rating your guys' starter squads for this episode. Um, make sure you check me out on Twitter and you're around on the channel later on this week for another uh, video sometime this week. Thank you all for the epic support on the channel. Really appreciate it. I'm so excited for FIFA 21. I hope you guys are too. I'll see you lads later.